Let's do the integral from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 of the absolute value of sine x, and then this is dx. So first, if you look at a graph a little bit, it helps, because if you look at the basic sine function, it looks like this and this. This is pi over 2, and this is negative pi over 2, but we have absolute value. So you got to take this piece here. Now here, sine of x is less than 0, but you got to take the absolute value, so you got to flip it up top, and you're looking for this plus this. To account for this piece, you got to do negative sine x. So I'm taking sine and just multiplying by negative to make it positive there. And now you can just integrate as follows. You can break up the integral into two pieces, negative pi over 2 to 0, and then negative sine x dx, and then plus the integral from 0 to pi over 2, and then sine x dx. These pieces, despite the badness of my picture, let's say, these pieces are symmetric if you do them carefully. So you find you have 2 times the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine x dx. It's going to give you 2. Then you're going to have negative cosine of x evaluated here between pi over 2 and 0, like that. Then you just plug in, so 2, negative cosine of pi over 2. Now this here is 0 from the unit circle top of unit circle minus a negative cosine of 0. So two negatives, one from here and one from the formula. So 2 and now this is 0 plus cosine of 0 is 1. So like this, so you end up with 2. Leave a like if it's helpful. Here's all the work.